What's up, lifelong learners? It's your boy, Mr. Hang, and I'm back with a review video. Now, I was sent these two items from Camolo. I hope I'm saying that right for review. One is a tripod that comes with a bunch of stuff, and then another one is a uh, phone holder that I actually kind of like a lot <laughs> because the tripod came with a phone, hold a phone holder, but it's not as good as this phone holder that's like different. All right, let's let's get into the video. Since 2006, I've been teaching high school kids how to transform their lives through education. So, consider subscribing and join the mission to make the hood all good. Okay, so this is the tripod that was sent to me for review. It's this thing right here. Now, this tripod is actually really tall. So if you look at this, they're comparing it to everything else. 63 inches. That's right, 63 inches tall, which is 5 foot 3 inches tall. And that is actually about, you know, almost my eye level. So let's say you're trying to use it with like a GoPro or something like that right here. It would be nice. And here's the phone holder that's supplied with the, the uh, tripod. And I find this phone holder a little lackluster. <laughs> but I was also sent this for review. This phone holder right here. And I like this phone holder way better. And links to these things are in the descriptions down below. So this phone holder, you can twist it, and it also has two different cold shoe mounts on the side. So let's say you like you like doing vertical video. Hold on, let me switch over to the phone holder real quick. So let's say if you like to do vertical video like this, you can have a slot for your lights, and you can also have a slot right here for your microphone, right? And then you have this uh, clip right here that helps you lock and unlock. So I can't pull it out until I unlock, then I can slide out like that. So what that does is it helps the phone be held in place. But my favorite thing is actually not that, is actually this right here. See this? That part right there allows me to angle this. So let's say I'm putting it on my tripod. I mean the tripod. <laughs> let's say I'm putting it on my camera like this. That means that I can hold a phone right here and I can monitor with a bigger screen, especially if you have a phone with like a really big screen. So that is the better of the two. See, this is the one that came with the tripod. This is the one that was sent with the tripod for review. They are two separate things that you have to buy here. Hence, you can see right here when I switch over to my <laughs> desktop view. So again, I was sent this tripod right here for review that came with this phone holder, but I feel like this phone holder for, for me has more use because I can get a lot more done when I'm using it with my, see back there, <laughs> my Panasonic S5 right there. So that way I can, you know, use my phone on top of that when I'm trying to record stuff. And uh, the other reason why I like this, and I mentioned it before, is that it's tall. And the reason why it's easy to use is because I use it with my light stand right now. Like I, I, I'm, I don't have it in front of you because I'm actually using it to hold my lights. I'll probably th throw some B-roll in here for you to see. So yeah, that's what I wanted to make a short video about was the tripod and this phone holder that was sent to me for review. Thank you, Camelo, for, I hope I'm saying that right, for sending me the stuff for review and I am finding good use for it because <laughs> I thought I was gonna take out the tripod on more like my hikes and stuff like that and like pack it in my backpack and it's super light and I just, you know, go and then I just use my like my GoPro or my DJI Osmo Action or my Action 2. They're all up there. <laughs> I have my little cameras are up there, right? You know, because I like to go on a lot of hikes and stuff with my family or my friends. And so I thought that I would find more use for the tripod doing those things, but in reality, I find the tripod more useful in my studio, just <laughs> holding up my light that's helping me get this like nice bounce light off of my ceiling, down onto my top shot where it doesn't look so, you know, harsh with the shadows and stuff. I have nice shadows with my top shot. So yeah, interestingly, I didn't find a use for what I thought I was gonna use it for, but I use it for something else instead. Oh, there's one more thing that I gotta mention. And that thing is that I love this twist, like to lock in your camera head. It, it's so much better than like these kinds of heads because these kinds of head require you to spin the camera around instead of just twisting like this and then it'll lock your camera. So 
that's the reason why I think that this tripod head is so much better and so much easier to work with. All right, so again, link is in the description down below. If you found this video useful, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments down below. And I need to go to sleep because tomorrow I actually have a hike with my family. And so I'm gonna end this video here. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to, again, like, share, and subscribe if you found this useful. And um, we're gonna say goodbye. So get your hands ready for those of you who are new. Just get your hands ready like this and just follow along. And for those of you who are returning, Y'all know what's up. Rock, paper, peace. Let's hang out again in the next video.